Okay, so we're gonna go right into this. I don't know if. Oh. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Hero? He's grooving. What? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so vibey! Why am I crying already? This is so cute! Kanji Tatsumi? Okay. Rise? Is her name Rise? Why is it like a famous person name? Teddy. Oh my god, the vibes are just right. Like, I'm loving the colors. <gasps> yeah, I'm jamming right now. Oh my god. Oh, do we have a. Are we on a mountain? <laughs> What's that about? I can't see, but I'm cheesing so hard right now. What is going on? Okay. Also. This music. Do I know this music? This music sounds very familiar. So it seems like we had some... Some sampling from this before. In Persona 5. Ooh, okay. I have never been so ready. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, friends. If you're new here, hello, I'm Freezy, and on this channel, we do some JRPG playthroughs. More notably, I just finished Persona 5 Royal, and I am now about to go into my first playthrough of Persona 4 Golden, and I'm so excited. Um, I'm just so ready to have like the entire Persona series brain rot, and I honestly like don't know anything about this iteration of Persona. Okay, well, here. The two things I know about Persona 4 Golden is, um, it's- I think it's more like a murder mystery or something? And the color yellow. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got. But I really love, like, the play style and, like, how everything kind of came together with Persona 5. And so I'm really excited to go back and kind of deep dive into some of these older versions of Persona and kind of everything that led up to Persona 5. But okay, this screen is gonna make me keep uh, selecting things, or you know, maybe we'll just watch the intro again. Like I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll go right into it, and let's just start a new game. Begin your adventure. Okay, so connect to the internet. Wait, the Vox Populi feature allows you to see what decisions other players have made at various points. Okay, and rescue request. These features are not available at the very beginning of the game. They will be unlocked as the story progresses. Whoa. I'm here for a story for the most part. I, I kind of do want to like a little bit of a challenge, but we'll stick with normal. Maybe we'll go up later. Who knows? Oh my god, not the Vespa. Well, relax and have fun with the game. This game is a work of fiction. No persons, groups, incidents, or terms appearing in this work are intended to... <laughs> You give me a lot of credit there, Persona 4. It went from so like bright and happy to very ominous so fast. Real gore? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thanks. I'll take my shoes off at the door. <gasps> oh, he's got the whole spread? Ah, a bar? It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> 
My name is Igor. <gasps> I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I feel like they like picked me up at the side of the road. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh my god, the velvet room music. Hello. I'm so glad it's starting off uh, comfortable because I'm scared a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, here's our name. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Future? I know nothing about my present. <laughs> Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? The tower card? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Dope. I'm glad I asked. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The lobster card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The moon in the upright position. Oh. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. So does that mean I have to figure out this mystery and then there's going to be like a convergence of time? And if I don't figure out what that mystery or like what that problem is then I don't get to continue <laughs> that's a lot of pressure my duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen it's also kind of funny that this is a velvet room it is a blue velvet hearse <laughs> maybe <laughs> with a garment there ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you this is Margaret. Hi. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. So we're just now getting into it? Oh, hey. Hello. <laughs> I'm so glad we still have the anime cutscenes in this, though. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it no. just stuff like money and connections? <laughs> when you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Oh my god, I was Quiet popular. Down, guys. I'm not done yet.
Oh, these animations are so satisfying. Meet us outside. Yasogami Terminal in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. <clears throat> the scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. should Mayer we Mino. go soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Oh, you know will affect who? Do we have a little bit of a repressed memory moment? Maybe? Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. It also kind of seems like he goes far for school. <gasps> okay, April 11th. November 4th? Hey, over here. <laughs> Wait, I'm not sure which way it's going. <laughs> Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Hmm. Well, it's been a long time. I'll say, you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Nanako hates me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> oh, I'm scared of Nanako. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car is over there. Hello. Hey. Unfriendly looking girl. You drop this. Oh, thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's a note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. What's wrong? So this is our new our new digs. It seems like we're being relocated again. <laughs> I guess this is kind of a formula thing. In a central shopping district gas station. Hi, welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh huh. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. She might? I know. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. <gasps> no, this is actually the worst time for a smoke. <laughs> Are you in high school? You don't do that at a gas station. <laughs> Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh my god, he just like shook her index finger. <laughs> oh, I should get back to work. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with this uh, animation for sure. Nanako is looking at you. Oh. Are you okay? 
okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? I just felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Our uncle is so nice. But again, not very bright. He needs to get that cigarette out of here. <laughs> I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you shouldn't get to know where all the stores are. Okay, this music? Examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Oh, hi. Y'all, you told me this is gonna be like our background music for the whole game? <laughs> Living. I also feel like we kind of just like got right into it, which I enjoy. This is the bookstore. It's fairly empty inside. Hi! Hmm, you have something to do in this shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see the regulars nowadays. If only June's hasn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. A fierce looking man is single mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. The Mariyuku Tofu Shop? An old woman is tending to the store. What is that? Let's go back and talk to this girl. I was expecting to have to like zigzag through this, but she's the only one here. Hmm? Have we met before? What were you doing at the station? Uh, the station? Oh, not one time. Nothing. I just went. I don't have anywhere to go. The girl falls silent. I like her. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm gonna work. See ya. What? I was looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Variety of product lines the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. Mm -hmm. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's convenient and it's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. It is a delicate balance. That's what I expect country life to be like. Hmm, are we allowed to keep going? Okay, so this is our little shopping area. I wonder if these places are gonna expand a little bit, like if something will be built in here. And maybe we can go down this alleyway later. Pretty standard. How are you feeling? You ready to go back in the car? Let's go. Skip on to skip to the event entirely. Okay. <laughs> We're not skipping events. This is the juice. That's the meat. The juice and the meat. <laughs> Some might say the juicy meat. <laughs> I'm fine. For the next year, this place will be your home. Okay, so what circumstance has sent us here? I would like to know. Cute! Alright, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Hmm. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. <laughs> I don't know if you met this girl, but she's been tense from the start. <laughs> I think she was born that way. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah? 
I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. <laughs> I love her. I love her energy. <laughs> Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Bye, Dojima Cat. Sound of the front door closing. It's the car sounding boom, brr, 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 brr. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, captions. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. A co-op? I'm living with a co-op? <laughs> My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. Oh. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. Okay, so this is the third person they're about to talk about on the news. This is boring. Oh, come on. Why does no one want me to watch this? <laughs> the one time I want to watch the news. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. <laughs> this? You told me this is what makes her happy? <laughs> Aren't you going to eat? Save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Oh, okay. What are you watching? Oh, um... She's at a loss. You should leave her alone. She's watching a quiz show. You open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it? No? We'll leave it alone. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Okay. Can we look around? You're tired from the long trip. You shouldn't be walking around outside. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima Cat. Hmm. I want to look around. Hopefully we can like decorate this stuff too. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Okay, so let's just go ahead and save. Oh my God, everything is so yellow. <laughs> um, Maybe we just go to bed? You should rest. Yes, we should. Oh. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Oh, the floor. This is... This area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Hmm. It looks like... 
I mean, TVs are like kind of a big imagery, so it kind of looks like TV static. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. Hmm. You sense someone up ahead. Will you continue? And if I say no? <gasps> this feels very Twilight Zone right now. Well, so, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. I don't know what I'm tacking, but <laughs> we'll try it. <laughs> Hmm, it seems that you can see a little, despite the fog. What is... Skill? <gasps> he just called a persona? Like that? I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. But, you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Surroundings are covered in fog. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. You're losing consciousness. Okay, so April 12th. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready! It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Did she make all of this? Okay. She's so self-sufficient. Let's eat. Do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. <laughs> oh my god. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Oogie. Nanako seems somewhat restless. He decided to head to school with her. Bop in my head, once again. School zone, the Samagawa floodplain? You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. School zone, intersection in front of the school. <laughs> Pained student. That looked painful. You should leave him be. Was he holding an umbrella while he was riding a bike? <laughs> You've arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I don't know who that girl is. Uh, I'm just... about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Moraoka? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. <laughs> we get to Deal. enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? 
just like you, huh, Yosuke? Yosuke is exactly who I was eyeing. Huh? You look dead today. <laughs> I would like to know more. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, is Yosuke the guy? Never mind. What's with him? <laughs> I mean, I would also like to know more about him. Who knows? All right, shut your <gasps> traps. Oh, wow. This man, they did him dirty. <laughs> what is going on there? I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher God, from today forward. Audacity of this man talking about our traps. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. What is he going to do about it? <laughs> now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad <laughs> sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Okay, it makes sense, because why would I trust a man with a checkered tie and a striped suit? This man did not mean anything good from the beginning. <laughs> you calling me a loser? Your courage has increased. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. Oh my god, look at the vein in his forehead. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. <laughs> Mr. Morica goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. This man is weirdly like protective of our sexuality as <laughs> a teacher get out of here he's the worst huh rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class well we just have to hang in there for a year you can hear people around you talking about you sucks to be the transfer student ending up in king moron's class on the first morning here yeah he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps. I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Whoa. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. But school is over. What? Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Can they just keep us here? <laughs> this seems cruel. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh my god, I love this guy's voice. Knowledgeable student? Let's talk. <laughs> oh yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. What? Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? She's like a city reporter though, right? Uh, hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? 
Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, oh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. Hmm? <laughs> Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. I wonder if... Dojima will be there. Hey! Are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Yeah, of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. <laughs> I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! This guy. <laughs> Twice in a day. Uh, are you all right? Are your nads all right? Oh, so considerate. Are, are you worried about <laughs> He's me? He's so concerned about your nads. <laughs> He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. I mean, what am I gonna do about it? <laughs> Huh? You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? Sir, where are your pupils? <laughs> what? Wh who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. I bet you a can of tap? Oh, tap. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so are, are you coming or not? I, I'm i not going. I am so scared of this man. Fine! What's... What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. Okay, and even if she knew, <laughs> her answer doesn't gotta change. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. Oh, T? I don't recall doing that. Whoa, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. <laughs> Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. 
We're just curious is all. This is such an interesting phenomenon of like when there's a new student, everyone always wants to flock to them and know what they're all about. But it's like I could be an ass. I could be the worst person that's ever existed and you wouldn't know that, but you still have that intrigue just because I'm new. <laughs> um I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Oh, can I pet your dog? Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew it! God, Chie, what the heck? Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Oh my god, do you think Yukiko's cute? Why are you so obsessed with her? Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? Hmm? Whoa. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Oh, they, this music is so ominous right now. But, like, for a second I felt like I was supposed to be happy, but oh my god, I'm kind of scared. Okay, so high schooler left early. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Shh, I can't stop listening to this music. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Unky, help, I'm scared. Hey, what are you doing here? We're just passing by. Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. That makes it sound like something is wrong with me. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <clears throat> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> Go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. <laughs> was this what that announcement was about? Okay, so it sounded like... Did it sound like a dead body was hanging from somewhere? 
and fell? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. The two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. What is going on? Oh, okay, so this is just... Map. Okay, so let's see... Can I go anywhere else? Sir. Your student at Yasugami. You should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on, go home. Sure, 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 sure. In due time. There's a bit of ruckus, and there's a lot of police officers. What's going on? Huh? A crime? Really? Yay, an emergency. Now I don't have to go back to work. Oh my god, that's me as hell. <laughs> it's like, oh no, my laptop is working, my internet is down. What a shame. I've been hearing sirens all day today. I was getting such a great sleep, but they woke me up. Ooh, okay, so this is how we can kind of fast travel? Question mark? A shrine. <gasps> I'm just so nosy right now. Small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's something in there's nothing inside. The shrine's main building, and I have no business here. Okay, well you're the one that let me come here. Whose fault is that really? Okay, so we can teleport different locations of this place? Oh, they didn't let us down here earlier. A bunch of appetizing dishes are out on display, but the owner is nowhere to be found. Didn't they tell you to do it at school? You're supposed to head straight home. Still, where did the store's owners go? I can't leave here until I've talked to him. Okay, so he's just gonna yell at me again. We'll just keep walking. Department store? Oh, you were really gonna let me just go anywhere. I'm waiting for my dad. He said he's gonna come get us. I heard something happen, but what? I've never seen this town so filled with policemen and unrest. It's starting to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. It'd be terrible if anything happened to you, so maybe you should hurry on home. And being inspected. Food court? Okay, maybe we will just go home. <laughs> as much as I want to just see everything. All in due time. Hey! And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. Such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvest harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. I know I could start a home garden as long as they have some unused land to work with. You take that spot next to the Dojima's place, for example, and it's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they start the home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> this one? You tell me we garden in here? That sounds kind of fun. It will become evening when you return home. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can do. Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as uh Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed 
The, the Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. <sighs> It'll be all right. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. Hanging from an antenna? So, like, from someone's house? With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. I'm sorry. Accidentally hanging from a... the roof? A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Oh, look at the frog on the TV. <laughs> He's got some chompers. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yosa Yasugami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yama Yamano. Her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. Oh my god. At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. <laughs> She's so cute. Are you kidding? Nanako's looking at you expectantly. Your Juness. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Huh? You sing this at school? <laughs> Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Okay, her comfort song, you know. Everyone's got a comfort jingle. So can we leave? So tired from getting used to your new life. You shouldn't be walking around outside. Okay, let's save again. Yo, my neck is gonna hurt from how much I'm just bobbing it as I'm playing this game. It's so good. Chris shows on TV. When is dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking towards the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. Nanako, what if we had a little rap break instead? Oh wait, <laughs> the music's already got that covered. Nothing catches your eye. Okay, now I regret not eating that fried rice the other day. I was just being polite. It's not mine. Okay, let's go rest. <laughs> Someone! <laughs> what a clown! Maybe you should help him. Mm. See, this... This we can help you with. Saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. He seems to be all right. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. I'm saying. No, you might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Hell yeah, brother, let's go. Oh, we don't get a little, like, biking cutscene? <laughs> Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that you're curious about the, the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intensely. Your knowledge has increased. Oh my god, I can't believe she showed up to school. If this girl was staying with her... So, are you getting used to this place? At her hotel? 
And she just came to school the next day after she died? Confused. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, <laughs> huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. She's so casual. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I hope we can both fit on his bike. <laughs> Junus food court. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god, Chie? <laughs> you good, girl? <laughs> She seems like the kind of person that's like always screaming. Like, not that she's necessarily mad, but her voice is always at like a very loud eight <laughs> when it should be at a four. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing and, ooh, uh, you can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hmm? Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Is she Yosuke's girlfriend? <laughs> he wishes. I too wish. <laughs> That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh, madam, you wound me. Whoa. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Okay, it was okay with the riz? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school <gasps> early yesterday? Oh. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? I'm just also... <laughs> you told me you saw a dead body yesterday, girl. And you went to work the next day. Take take a personal day or two, maybe five. <laughs> it's okay. It's a little traumatizing. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. 
Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? She said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oof. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Ho oh, ho, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh my god, his blush. Look at his cheeks. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. Oh my god, who is more obsessed with our love lives? Chie or Dr. Moron? Professor Moron, Teacher Moron, whatever his name is. <laughs> the guy with the chompers. This girl. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Oh. You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off alone. Exactly at midnight on a rainy oh, night. Okay, okay, okay. It sounded a little more suggestive than, <laughs> than it does. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Ooh. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight? It is a Wednesday. What are we doing up at midnight? <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. Oh, she's so happy. <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Well, you've been out for three days, so... No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I've been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Mizu... Mizuzu Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? Ugh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, <gasps> um. The female student's face and voice are indistinct, but you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? 
No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Now, why would we need to talk about that on the news? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke's senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? <sighs> we'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. <laughs> oh Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. The ad money that Juness is... Dishing out here. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> no? Oh. <laughs> Snores are not a no. Jeez. I will take you. I will take you to Juness. Wakey wakey. He's sleeping. You should leave him alone. When I go to bed, I'll wake dad up and tell him to go uh, to his own room. Okay, so how do I make it to midnight though? Pretend like I'm gonna go to bed? Rain falls into the night. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of the midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Oh. Hmm? You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Shihei's story be true? What a shot. <laughs> I am thou. Mm. Thou art I. Just like that? Thou art the one who opens the door. <laughs> Call a persona on the real. What is going on? not seen enough scary movies. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Hey, yo, did everyone get a persona on this night? Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. Jay forces herself under your umbrella. 
<laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. By the way, did you see it? I did. Nah, <laughs> do tell. But the person it showed... Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. I, like, don't want to let her down. Uh, um... It's kind of awkward, but... Um, to only bring this up now, but... We're pretty close here. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and run the rest of the way. Then let's race. Huh? Huh? We're both gonna run through the brain? What's the point in that? Besides, it's not like I wanted to make a break for it. <laughs> Am I worrying too much? I'll keep going with you anyway. Come on! Let's go. I don't know if running was the right choice. I just thought it was quirky and silly. <laughs> like her. <gasps> Miss Sofue? Miss Sofue? Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofue, and I don't know much about... I don't know how much you know about world history, but I am an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser and look the lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy this profundity of history together. Oh. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, please stand up. Don't make me stand. <laughs> Come on. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, uh, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? Um, 1 BC? You gave the answer you think is correct. Oh, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Ju Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of zero as a number. And that's why, when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Oh, that's a nice introduction to world history. And a little bit of knowledge boost. We're killing it so far, if I do say so myself. What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y yo Um... It's, a. Uh, it's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Did he do it too? Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> tell me now! Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Yosuke. Saki Senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But... My soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Who's gonna tell her? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. You know, these these small towns, it, it catches up with them sooner or later. <laughs> her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does, <laughs> does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. 
It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Wait, are you telling me that that's actually what was stopping him? The TV was too small? Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What the? <laughs> We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decide to go to Junez with uh, the others. The electronics department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I am obsessed with their little hedgehog on the ad. <laughs> I will buy anything from this man. I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people <laughs> shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. And the penguins with the speech bubbles? I just realized what that was. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. Okay, well, y'all aren't following the rules. <laughs> <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. It was not midnight. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> Well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? <gasps> Wait. It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... The singer is... the cutouts at the store. With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Ooh. <gasps> oh, 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 wait. Oh yeah, what kind of TV <gasps> Look at me, please. Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no! This is what VR was like <laughs> back in 2004. Naturally. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Girl. <laughs> oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, I'd be shitting my pants right now. <laughs> oh my god! We've known these people approximately two days. <laughs> There's an empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? Seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Oh, whoa. Okay, so maybe he's not gonna shit his pants, but he might pee, pee them. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? <laughs> I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it. 
Anymore. Ain't no way. Okay. <laughs> Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> oh. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm dizzy. <laughs> what? Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Again, very yellow in here. So, uh, we're still alive, right? Is this a dream? No, I'd say the pain I'm feeling right now is very real. R real? Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. Oh. This is this a studio? A studio or a stage? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Huh? But, but look, we need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. Wh which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. I believe we came from up. <laughs> what? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? <sighs> okay, let's look for a way out. <laughs> yeah, an exit. We need to find one. We are calm, cool, and collected. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Seems there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Holy shit, those pictures on the wall? Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? That's horrifying. No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? <gasps> it's a dead end. There's no exit. Mm, is that what she's concerned about right now? Because I have, I have some things I want to point out to her. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. You are not Yosuke, peeing you on doing? the crime scene, sir. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. 
I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. <laughs> the zipper sucks. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. What? Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh. <laughs> what is this thing? A monkey? A bear? Okay, this guy considerably bigger than I thought he was gonna be. In the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked. W what are you? You want to fight? D don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. Um, what are you? <laughs> I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. Hmm. I am not watching enough National Geographic for this. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? Yo, look at the floor. They're body outlines. If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? Is that the same as us? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? Oh. What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Mm, I will protect you. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! So we had no shot of leaving without him to begin with, apparently. Huh? Is this... Did we make it back? I wonder how much time has passed. Oh. Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? 
Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Hmm. Okay, so that would insinuate a suicide, but she was found hanging upside down. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Come on, guys. Where's your detective spirit? Hey, welcome home. No. You still feel sluggish. And no one made me dinner. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Uh, she wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Oh. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Did she say anything weird yesterday? I feel like no. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn? That's the inn that the Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. That's a weird... <laughs> Why are they saying this on the news right now in relation to a missing woman? Uh... I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> oh. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Oh, she's running. She's you running to heal get me. To bed after you take it. Man, she's got to be a genius. She's just watching these quiz shows every single night. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep early or you'll catch a cold. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. Okay, but what if I left the house instead? Hey, where do you think you're going? I told you to go to sleep. You're not my dad! Oh no. <laughs> ah. That's... Okay. No, that's not what I was expecting. Holy shit. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Oh my god. Why this little town? Like, that's also another thing I want to know. 
Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako looks worried. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens. Seems to be in another incident. You decide to head to school. Because you know we're going to hear about it later. Apparently. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You ever hear people gossiping about something? Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. Is that the principal? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> no, Yosuke. Principal's address continues. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. On that Midnight Channel thingy? Someone saw her? They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying people who appear on that TV die? Oh my God. But we can also go into it. I can't say for sure. Something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said 
that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. So if we go back in there, are we going to see something different that's related to Saki's death? I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Sir, it's been two days. <laughs> it's been two days. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke's asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? We'll go with him. You serious? We're, 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 there was never an option that we were going to, going to not. Girl, you're crazy. Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Oh, that scares me. <laughs> God. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to leave it off and restart from our second excursion into... I don't even know what to call it. The TV world? But so far, I'm... Listen, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. It sounds like we're going to find out who is going to be a victim next and we have to either go meet them and stop them or or they'll just start leading us to whoever the killer is and it does sound like that this person is involved with this other world and is just throwing their victims into this place but we'll go in and we'll see if we can find the room that saki was in and hopefully see some personas we're gonna see three personas at once right oh <laughs> that's gonna be so exciting i can't wait and hopefully we can learn to do our first battle maybe also with teddy there's so much going on i'm so excited to continue in the next one